Today on Toy Shiz, some flocking good origin figures, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Target Store exclusive He-Man 2-Pack, featuring the Rise of Evil, Dark Origins of two of Eternia's evil warriors, Keldor, the man who would be Skeletor, and Cronus, the man who would be Trapjaw. Gorgeous artwork all over this box. It is utterly fantastic eye-catching it's hands down some of the best artwork and again Mattel if you're listening let's get a pack of these little demon guys you keep throwing all over the boxes nowadays but yeah on the back side you get looks at Keldor and you can swap it out for the amazing Skeletor head in this box and here's the barcode if you need it but hey that's not all we're checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive flocked panthor flocked panthor you say well what in the world does that mean Realistic fur. Yeah, the old 80s Masses of the Universe Panthor. This one has a soft velour uh, coat to it, so it's a fuzzy cat. Now, fiercely obedient to Skeletor, Panther carries his nefarious master into combat. It comes with a saddle. It's the same exact figure as the previous Panthor that's on Target store shelves now, except that, yeah, he's just fuzzy. It's a fuzzy cat. Here's the barcode as well. And again, like I said, both of these are hitting their respective stores now. I ordered the Cronus and Keldor pack off the app, Target app, and I goofed, sent it to a Target store like 30 minutes away, and <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say how far I drove, but went and got it, worked work into it, yada yada, on the way back, stopped at a Walmart, and lo and behold, Panthor was sitting there as well. So it worked out for me, right? It was a Masters of the Universe day for old, Toy shiz. <laughs> You're like, okay, get to the figures. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new two-pack featuring Keldor and Cronus. That's exclusive to Target. And the flocked Panthor that is a Walmart exclusive by Mattel. And here's everything taken out of the packaging. You got two really nice He-Man origin figures. And then you got essentially is a vehicle. And that's what's a lot of fun about this new figure line. I'm just getting into He-Man with this Origins line. It's been a blast so far. You got shark cars and it's crazy. But let's talk about Cronus. Very blue. He's got a new vest to him. He's got some new legs. Got some weapon storage on the back as well. I like the conflict. It's very 80s looking, I, th I think. Very cool. He's got this weird green, red helmet. It is the same exact articulation that you know for all the He-Man figures thus far. There really isn't anything different. He comes with this weapon gun blaster right here. Solid black. Not much to it. It's rendered nicely, but there some paint would have been nice on it. I think, yeah, but that's the whole point of these Masters figures, that they go very simplistic, which is fine. I wish he had an extra hand, though. That way he could hold the blaster with both hands, but I like his boots his face is goofy, but not as goofy, of course, as Trapjaw here. The man that would be Trapjaw from some accident. I don't know. Fill me in. I really don't know how he turns into Trapjaw. But you can actually swap the parts. So you can put Trapjaw's head on this guy. And if you really wanted to, you could swap out the gun arm and make a new figure. And that's really cool about these new He-Man Origins. I've seen a lot of people make new figures, their own characters, what have you, that's part of the play feature. And what's nice on this new Cronus is that you could put all of Trapjaw's weapons on his back. So that's cool to see. With Panthor, let's just take him out all slowly. We want to knock over the display. But again, not to go too much into it, it's a really nicely done flocked Panthor. Very fuzzy, very furry. You'll definitely like it, especially people that grew up in the 80s with the original one. Now, I have the original one, but I didn't get it till much later it's the same articulation the joints don't really seem to be grinding into the the fur so that's good I, I would think that over time yeah the fur will eventually fall off but i'm talking about years and years but for now put him on display i think that he will look great he's a fantastic looking flocked panthor and then finally with keldor this is the real gem out of all of them not just because it's a cool looking Keldor, human Skeletor man, or whatever version you're thinking about for Motu, but he just looks good. 
And he's got this really sweet cape to him. It's his own cape. It's not the same cape as Scare Glow. He's got some long hair to him. He's very stylistic, but I like the combination of the colors, especially on his Havoc staff. The purple to the translucent green, that is cool. That is very cool. And I love the elements of green and the pink on his armor. That works as well. Again, much like Cronus, very 80s. Same exact articulation. He's sporting some new boots right there. And yeah, it you can swap parts out. So choose which again that's the best part but the best part the best part right here you can move the cape too if you want is that it comes with this alcala head sculpt for skeletor now when i first saw skeletor this is the face the head that i think about right i'm more of the the artwork and the i like i like that the the whole story between mass of the universe the cartoon all that stuff i whatever doesn't matter to me they're just cool looking toys but the Skeletor head really makes this figure, especially the jeweled eyes. That is so cool to see. So in the sense of his power sword, he's got the purple fused power sword. It's got the green elements on the top. You can put it in either hand. He's got weapon holding hands for both. The only problem is the handle is a little bit thick for his grip. It will stay, and then sometimes it doesn't want to stay. So it... It's sturdy when it's in there, and then it starts to move a little bit. So that's kind of a bummer. It's the main thing that you think. The Havoc Staff, oddly enough, it's it's smaller grip. So yeah, it really works. Doesn't fall out of his hand. But when you have this new flocked panther, and you get them all situated, and you got the cape going, and you swap out the heads. I mean, you could do Keldor, you could do Skeletor, but this this is like... The Skeletor right here. This is an awesome looking figure. So you put him on top of Panthor, Havoc Staff, and he just looks killer. How ridiculous. It's a roided out blue skeleton man riding a purple velour cat. <laughs> Master of the Universe writes itself. But it's so dang cool looking and I don't know why. It's wackadoo. But that's really the charm of this figure line. If you're wondering how Panthor stacks up to the other Panthors in my collection, again, you got the velour one. Very cool. Very nice to see. The old flocked one where you can see the flockiness is kind of flaking off. So flaked flocky. And then you got just plastic Panthor. <laughs> and that's the one to target now. But they all are great. And you have three different Skeletors that you can put on top of each one riding. So for He-Man Origins so far, basically there are three Skeletors. You got the regular one, you got the armored one, and now you've got this Keldor one. And they're all different, which I really appreciate. It's not like you're buying the same Skeletor again. They all have different heads. They all have different everything. So very cool to see. With the Power Sword, let's say this. The one that you put together, you fuse together, He-Man, Skeletor, it, it holds a lot better. You could put the sword, this one, the new one, in the back of He-Man 2 if you so choose. But to really achieve that Alfredo Alcala Skeletor, you can really have some fun. Yeah, they nailed it in that head sculpt. I think that what's nice about the he-man origin figures is that you can really just construct and take body parts and swap them out and that's what's really fun make a skeletor give him yourself the look that you think of and there you have it and really when you have this skeletor matched up with all his eternian cronies this looks like the scary creepy looking Skeletor and that's what I really like so in all honesty if you're a He-Man if you're a fan if you're collecting this line yeah all of these are right up your alley you're gonna have a blast with all you can decide if you really need the new Panthor it's the same exact one if you've been waiting on it definitely definitely grab him with this two pack hands down a great job some extra hands would have been nice maybe a few extra weapons for Cronus but I think that the Skeletor is the must-have out of the two pack so I highly recommend it but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I would love to see more of these wild two-packs. Go crazy. Go really, like, artistic. I don't care. Dude, sky's the limit with these He-Man figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.